Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today I'm gonna to go over how to wire PGM-1, the trouble output, on your Napco Starlink Fire Radio to a fire alarm control panel that utilizes SLC modules or a conventional one that has isolated grounds. For this, we're going to need a low current fire rated relay. We're going to take the voltage trip portion of the relay and that's gonna to connect to the fire radio's PGM-1 terminal is going to be the negative and then terminal one aux power positive now the voltage rating on this relay needs to be for whatever the fire radio is being powered from either 12 or 24 volts and again always refer to that manufacturer's instructions for wiring and jumper settings then we're going to have the form c portion of the relay that's going to connect to the slc module or fire alarm panel utilizing that panel's end of line resistor now the pgm1 on the radio is normally active which means it's <clears throat> live in a normal condition, fail safe. So to simulate a trouble condition, I'm going to remove my portion of my supervised wiring harness, causing a cut wires condition, and you'll see the re relay powers down, which would in turn trip the module, putting the fire alarm panel into trouble. And once I restore the condition, the relay will be powered back on in a normal state. So just to review, we went over how to wire the PGM-1 trouble output on our NAPCO Starlink fire radio to an SLC module or fire alarm control panel that has isolated grounds with a low current fire rated relay. And as always, for more information, check us out on our website at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.